My favorite cat, Mama Cupcake. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Oh, shit. We had a good one for you tonight, folks. This is, uh... <laughs> This is, this is a, this is a absolute honor and privilege right now to have Senior Joe Exotic and Carol Baskins right out, right out of our screen. Frankie's here. I'm the day, man. It's a fucking pleasure, Sean. I'm going to start by saying how fucking amazingly ridiculous you guys look. It made my evening. Thank you. I fucking I'm out of the court. Me and Takashi Six Nine got early release. We're fucking out. <laughs> We're fucking doing things. I'm gonna got a new zoo. Carol fucking Baskins is here. Let them know what time it is, Carol. Hey, all you cats and kittens. <laughs> you got We're friends now. We put all this bullshit behind us. So you have a comment? We're drinking from the same coin. So you got a We're having a good time tonight. You guys got a common enemy now? Woo! Who you guys? Hey, you guys man. Miss you. We miss you too, man. I miss uh, all you fucks. Like, I miss the sun. It was funny. I miss the sun. I miss it. I know, you're looking vitamin D deficient as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're glowing the dark. dark these eyes are, bro. When's the last time you were outside, honestly? Um, I went grocery shopping last Tuesday. Yeah, so like five days, four days. Oh, so that's so bad. Or that, it was like two weeks. You don't like go outside daily, take a walk. Dog for a walk, yeah. But so that counts. I, I haven't been feeling good the last few days. Today's my best day. So I've been going to the lot of I think everyone has. I feel like Being shit gone. every day because of my. Sean's been outside every day. I feel like shit every day. That's Sean. Sean, we're fucking essential. Essential, essential business. business. You can pick that shirt up at shop.sportshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den for all your gentleman's den merch needs. Ooh. You're essential. My lady's essential. She needs a goddamn cake. Where I'm raising my I'm raising my drink to Kayla because she is busting her ass in a really scary time. No, I'm raising my fucking glass to everybody that's actually like out on the front line doing it every day. Yeah, I, so Kayla Kayla went to school with uh, what's her name, Kayla? Yeah, so she's actually like she's out there like urgent care out there ten hours a day sticking swabs up in a parking lot. Place. Shout out to her. Dude. Yeah, like that, that That's a real superhero. That swab up the nose thing is rough to watch. That, I mean, okay. that fucker is this long and it's going all the way to the back of your brain. Yeah, because I don't want them getting anywhere close to me with that swab. It's their dirty paws. Imagine Frank is in that flashbacks because he's had a deviated septum. <laughs> <laughs> So he's like, oh fuck! They oh. Like, so that big old well, yeah, that big swab though too. Frankie's used to from all the times at the VD clinic. Um. <laughs> down the old bear. Down the old penis hole. Sorry, right, Frankie. I've had a few, few of those. You got the gonorrhea. Yeah, but you put a, a padlock on the tip of your penis too. <laughs> My sister husband. I fucking had it. <laughs> Yeah, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Stand up a little bit. Let me get a look at you. I want to. I want to take a good. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this just made my evening. Yo. Oh shit. shit. Too much. <laughs> oh look at it. Look at it. So tired! Oh, I'm so tired! Now I understand! 
Think about coming out in a third album. Tag yourself, man. Oh, oh. God. Okay, mama. This one fat cat. Mama cupcake. That's the rarest of the rare. Let me tell you, that pussy right there, top notch. <laughs> Cost me three penny. Oh, you got a problem. South Africa. You got a serious problem there with pussy. Just saying. Jeff, are you are you just moving like Joe Exotic, or is your back really bothering you that much? Because it's making my back hurt. You move her around like that. What the hell are you talking about, you motherfucker? <laughs> he, just, he just got a little mess before the show. That's it. He's just... It's like his know? spine wasn't bending when he was trying to sit down. It's because his belly is so... bulged out. His skin's so Did tight. Didn't you watch the fucking documentary? I drove my goddamn car off a bridge. My back is fucked. <laughs> is that why you were the new brace? A fucking cane. You ungrateful bag. <sighs> business bastard. What do you think when, when, when that pussy bit his shoe and pulled him down, what do you think was My going on? Sardine oil. oil. Hands down. <laughs> Hands down, so. Damn, Carol. What did they do with the crazy one, Carol? Uh, uh, wait. Goddamn Carol Baskins. Carol fucking Baskins. I'll be letting her make your drink, sorry, bub. Yeah, you might want to, uh, stick to closed fucking cans. Oh, you brought me a fresca? <laughs> Why is it open? <laughs> oh, because that's what friends do for each other. Dude! <laughs> Now we're having a good time over here. We're trying to do during the quarantine. Like the kids, we we try and go for a walk every day. Every time. Yeah. I'm going to get the fucking blood clot. I'm not. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a very good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> these, kids are, these kids are homeschooled now. I'm going to be honest. Not a very good teacher. Bell is asking me for help with math. That's like plus and minus. Yeah. The boys are asking me. There's like X's and Y's. I'm out. It's a very good thing that no matter I'm what, out. children this year are getting put on to the next grade. No matter what. Yeah. I wish they had that back when I was in school. I could have used the... Uh... Yeah, right? Were, actually, which is ironic because I did summer school like three years. I was able to graduate a half a year early if I would have just had one half of credit for science. I could have been an early grad. How dare you. I, had so to, I was just genius. I had to pay for two extra classes at the end of the year so I can graduate. Pay? pay I had to take two elect, like the uh, paid electives, and they were like 25 bucks. Put 25 hours in an envelope, son, and just slide it under the and, door. And uh, the classes were uh, business, uh, essential no, business, essential business, essential no. business. <laughs> it, was, it was basically balancing a checkbook. That's all it was. Essential business 101. And, and, and the other one was ethnic that was studies. Class ever. I went in there and just wrote checks for <laughs> a half hour. Just got the fuck out of there. <laughs> and the other one was the other one was ethnic studies. Which was... What does that mean? Which was... Studies of ethnic. It was studies. different ethnicities. Oh, what about the shoulder? Sicity? It's an anemone. And, yeah, and I just said, just That's give me the test. Just give me the tests. I'll pass these things. I don't even have to look at what I'm fucking oh, looking at. Boy. Oh, good thing, daughter. And then I graduated high school. Congratulations. Hopped on your dinosaur and got the ball. Fuck out of there. <laughs> Fucking A right. <laughs> took my took my pterodactyl and flew out of there. <laughs> <laughs> you sons of bitches. Fucking A. Oh. You guys want to hear about my dream? I yes. don't want to ruin it. Right. Yes. Let's hear this dream. Should I say it in Joe Exotic's voice? Probably not. This is serious business. Oh, serious business. Here we go. So I had a dream the other night that I died. And I said, I, 
I didn't die. Whoever I was talking to, I was talking to fucking Morpheus or something. <laughs> I was like, I didn't die. He's like, yes, you did. And I was like, I would have remembered if I died. He's like, no, <laughs> he's like, everybody died. He's like, this whole quarantine is so that we can reset the fucking matrix. I'm like, what? He's like, yes, everyone is dead. This well, where are you? Is resetting the world. And then I woke up and I was like, oh fuck, he was right. We reset the world. Except we're all still fucked and still in quarantine, so... Dude, it was the craziest fucking dream You guys ever. maybe reborn? No, it's just reset. So, like, something must have fucked up. So I'm, I'm gonna like, need to right. do this voice. I'm gonna need a reenactment of this voice you heard. You're pretty good at voices. It was, like... Just a normal... A normal voice. It might have even been my inner voice. Who said it? Voice in your head? Because it kind of sounded like me. Oh, do I? Oh, oh! But it was the craziest fucking shit. I was like, because I kept arguing with the guy. I was like, I didn't die. I didn't die. Yes, you did. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> was it, yeah, I was going to say, was it like a Morgan Freeman voice? Were you guys arguing like five year olds? Like, yaha, nah, uh. I was just like in shock. I was like, I didn't die. And he's like, yes, you did. Yes, you did, Jeff. I said, no, I didn't. Am yes. I, am I dead too then? Everyone's dead. I sound like the black character from Family Guy. Everyone's dead. <laughs> you you <laughs> sound like Cleveland. <laughs> Yeah, well, you don't have to die alone. I'll die with you. So well, apparently, we in my dream, we all died, and then we've been reset, but we're still waiting for the outside to fully reset. So now that's why we're stuck in our bro, houses. Bro, we're in the loading screen. That's what I'm saying. Like we're in the loading screen. What is on? We're in the loading we screen. Oh, we're, we're loading back up to reboot, guys. We're just we're getting out of the. <laughs> We're loading into the map, for sure. Come on, Kara. We're in the loading screen right now, fools. I'm lying. Do you have any crazy shit? What's we'll his name? Huh? 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 Todd, 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 Todd. Well. Hey, if you had like a cat, what do you think some good names would be? Maybe like Mama Cupcake would probably be a good name for a cat? Uh. I mean, maybe. I think that's a great name for a pussy. For a big Just cat? Oh, um, she's like over there. For, like, for, 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 for like a tiger? Yes. I would name it or, Steve. Uh, Steve what the Tiger. What would your main cat be named? Fred. I'm not giving Friend? him... Fred. Fred the cat. Fred the cat. I ain't giving him fucking... Oh, this is cinnamon biscuits. And this is fucking butter be nipples. <laughs> it's gotta be fucking majestic. I, I, I did that though too. Like, what's, uh, Chew, what's uh, the white one's name? Chewbacca Banana. Chewbacca banana. Hey, right. hey, Chewy. Yeah, we call him Chewy. No, yeah, he's Chewy. talking about the white tiger. We have Chewbacca banana and oh, Mama Cupcake. Chewbacca <laughs> banana. Chewbacca banana and Mama Cupcake. Yeah, oh, that's some great. great. That's the cat names. Well, if you, you know, if you had one more, if you had one more cat, you can name it Hamburger Pizza, because damn near everything has some food reference in the in its name. Well, I name it Candy Mountain Charlie. <laughs> It sounds so like guys, shitty horses at the Kentucky Derby. I'll give it 20 on Candy Mountain yeah, Charlie. Yeah, Candy Mountain Charlie for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, 
That's that's a winner. You can't not bet on a horse like that. Keep it twenty on Candy Bob Charlie. It's all I got left. Come on, you so bitch. I miss gambling, Frankie. Uh, I was on top of the mountain. Oh, you know where I was? Where was you? It was really high. Hey, 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 hey. Trash. Trash. I can't even up. I haven't even finished singing yet. I climbed up top the mountain like the trash. I've got it all. Do you know what there is trash to Do you know what I taught my daughter the other day? See, this is... I said I'm a bad teacher. I take it back right now. Because I, I taught my daughter the difference between a bird... And the wu -Tang? And the wu Because <laughs> I went like this. She's like, that's a bird, Daddy. I said, no. A bird is like this. It's a bird. This is Wu-Tang is forever. <laughs> Wu-Tang. She knows Wu-Tang is forever. So now daughter, my daughter knows Wu-Tang is forever. So I guess I am a good teacher. You're teaching them the things that... Street knowledge. You're teaching the kids <laughs> essential life knowledge. Essential. You're essential. Essential. I'm essential. Essential. You know what's essential? I'm your titties on camera, Sean. Jesus. You guys want to know what's Buy a show? shirt. <laughs> What's my stuff? essential? Learning how to hang up your coat hangers. Kayla, do you want to discuss this? What was that that we were watching? I don't know, but this guy's going to be a serial okay, killer. Okay, so, yeah, definitely a serial killer. Wait, how do you hang up your clothes? When you put them on a hanger, how do you hang them? Like, there's the rod. Do you put the hangers, like, this way? Or do you put them this way? So, if the rod is, like... This? Yeah. Show me the rod. How are you holding I, I, the rod? I, so I, okay. I, I, I hook towards me. Away from you or towards you? Towards me. So what? I know. The the round end goes across yeah. the rod first. Not right. up and under. Okay. So the round, <laughs> the round edge faces you. Yes. The round okay. edge faces you. What about you? God, I'm not a fucking psycho. I dare you imply I put him backwards. Dude, this guy, I don't, I don't even remember what we were watching. But I was like, who the fuck hangs their shit up it like that? It shows his closet it's and like, all, the hooks, all the hooks are facing him. We're like, what the fuck is that? Who does that? that? Dude, I couldn't do that because I'm too afraid of getting fucking scraped or scratched on the tips you, of that. How do you hang shit up like that? Like, you gotta go up and, or down, up and under. It's like the whole, it's like the whole toilet paper thing going on. Toilet paper roll all around house and the toilet paper roll. If they have a mullet instead of a beard, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you need right? You need the roll, and you gotta have a nice beard right off the front. Yeah, you don't want you don't want the mullet. Down the back. I'm you know, <laughs> Who the fuck is? Who the fuck does? Did you see that show that's on uh, Netflix? Which one? It's, um, it's 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 like I, uh, it's like an experiment show where they have like a hundred different people and they ask them all the same oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. That was one of the questions. Did you see that? Uh, for the paper, which way you go? Yeah, and they're like, oh, I don't trust people that that slide or flip or fuck. It, it, it's weird. Like I, I actually I haven't watched it. I want to watch. it. I was too. I finally watched Tiger King. <laughs> I saw Tiger. No, we st we started that. Oh, the weird one. No, the one hundred, where it has like a hundred people, and they all ask them. Remember, they did the pie in the face. The one hundred. Well, one out of one hundred, wasn't it? But what no, you're talking I'm about? Something else, or they like and kittens? It's, hey, are you cool cats and kittens? You can't move your mouth that much when you Yeah, like keep your mouth just 
Like you're biting, <laughs> biting the back of your teeth. Yeah, what, yeah. motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Enough. On the other movie, Platform. Did you guys see that? Good use for that. Platform and they're for the shoes, so I can't watch the movie. And uh no, I haven't. I did watch Coffee and Kareem. That looks funny. Yeah, I want to watch it. Did you watch it? Yeah, it's it's good. Is it, is it worth the watch? I'm gonna yeah. have to watch it. Um, I feel like you guys aren't that freaked out about someone hanging up hangers the opposite way. Right, I know. There's two so long. Bro, I was people like you. And you don't do it, and you don't do it, and you don't do it, so I'm not worried about it. But someone does it. There's people that are like that you. Bothers. Two fucks over there on the couch just sitting together. People I mean, like you in the world. It doesn't mean virtual reality for how many days? I mean, I, just. I, I, I get like eight hours in between. I got to save the world and do Navy SEAL stuff. You know what I was thinking about the other day? So confused. Uh, Go ahead. Not a bullet hole. <laughs> I, a bullet I, hole. Like no, I, was about, I was thinking about this the other day. Okay, so how much how much is America in debt? Trillions. To like, to like other countries and shit? Yeah. yeah. Trillions. But, but I but but when I go to get a car, they're gonna check my credit score. <laughs> <laughs> Great point. To get a fucking loan, like why you check? Why uh, you check your own goddamn shit? <laughs> we start looking at my shit. <laughs> hey, bud, you score seven seven fifty eight. Yeah, it's pretty goddamn good. Carol, goddamn Baskins. The country's fucking trillion dollars in debt, but I own fucking twenty thousand dollar in automobile and tigers, and uh, uh, they're looking at me. And they're like, "Yeah, not gonna happen for you." Are uh, you having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, America's in fucking debt, trillions of goddamn dollars. I gotta get a loan for a goddamn scooter, and I can't get a car. I can't even get a goddamn scooter. My credit ain't looking too fucking good. What are you guys doing? Your stimulus check, dude. Keeping it in my fucking account. Oh, I'm buying a tiger as soon as it gets here. <laughs> <laughs> you think that we could buy uh, Tiger King's tour bus from Carol Bassett? She's willing to sell that thing. Oh, dude! I've seen a bunch of dude. This has got like, already on it. Got like the greatest Darn. memes about. I mean, who knew that a tiger was only two thousand dollars? <laughs> I know, right? I thought that would be way more expensive for a baby tiger. Hundred percent, two grand? Like fuck, dude! There's oh, fucking bulldogs. Like G for my dog. Right. There's bulldogs. Yeah, I've seen, seen, seen that fucking meme. It's like I could have got a. A fucking tiger for two thousand dollars when mm. Petland's charging fifty three hundred for a fucking English bulldog. It's your bulldog. What are you talking about? Look at her. Kaylee's just like, yeah, go, get a dog. Get the bulldog. You know, he's gonna, bulldog. Kayla, you know he is going to go back to work at one point, so the dog's going to be by itself. Yeah, but Jeff's like off for a while, so he can train it. Yeah, but yeah, honest, I'm a fucking master trainer. <laughs> if you wear that outfit, you are. Oh my god, you can have another dog! What? Oh my god! Old dogs allowed in your complex? We need like land. We don't want Cages. Cage? <laughs> you know, we've always talked about going down and <laughs> all these animals. Yeah. We gotta move your husband's ashes. <laughs> Septic tank. Did you kill your husband? Did you kill? This is what the internet wants to know, right? I did this not. This is why we invited her out. Did you kill your fucking husband? I did not kill her. Where is he at? Oh, look, look away, all weird. Like she does. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't kill my husband. <laughs> 
<laughs> did you guys see? The, did I send you the meme? Put him in it. Did I send you guys the meme of Carol Baskin talking about how she didn't kill her husband and Hillary's underneath her? That motherfucker spitting. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I what, when he, the first episode when he's like, "You guys might get peed on in the gift shop with t-shirts." R. Kelly, tiger. It's got R. Kelly underneath. This motherfucker is spitting. That's fucking great. He's all about what that means. Oh my god, dude. That's what it is. Like, I mean, what else can we even talking about? It's it's. COVID-19. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? I've been wearing this costume for too long. It's either COVID-19 or Tiger King. That's it. Everything else can go fuck itself. Yeah, they, they, until, the world is basically until stopped. April 19th. Until April 19th, you son of a bitch. What's that? I mean, pretty sure my state's closed down until Dude, May. Yeah, Florida's closed down until May. Most places... April 19th, the last dance. Oh. The last dance! Chicago, 1998, Chicago Bulls, Don yes. Mercury. Yes. They moved it up from fucking June all the way to goddamn April. That's because we're going to be in quarantine for the next fucking three months. That's probably like, not going to see you guys until July. Let's be honest. Probably not. I love you guys. Don't be assholes. Like, actually fucking, like, self-isolate. Don't. Oh, Frankie's isolated. I, yeah, we know. I can tell. <laughs> I, don't, I don't go anywhere. I go to work. I go to work. I know. I, I just, I know so You're many people. Boss. I know so many people that even, like, just, they don't don't, care. I just, it pisses me off. I know so many people that go to hang out even just, like, with family. But that family has gone to the store and exposed themselves to different people than you have. Yep. It's just stupid. Don't, I miss the shit out of everybody. I miss you guys. I miss my family. But, like, I can't see them. I can't. It just, right now, you can't do it. Don't fuck uh, me. I, I almost was going to tell you guys back when we went to C2E2 that I didn't want to go. But I was like, don't, you know, that's, back, back then is when I was like, oh, people, back the fuck up, bro. You know? Oh, so that's been crazy. It's like when when Kobe passed away, they a lot of people have been posting that picture of the the Kobe thing on the newspaper, and then it was like a little side story to the left was like people are looking for doctors looking for a cure to the coronavirus, and it was like just like starting, you know, even that long ago. When was that? Like January? Yeah, but it's it it just. It makes me angry because nobody's taking it as serious. Some people are. Some people. I are. agree with you. I agree with you 100. percent If I some people, I've been taking it serious for a lot longer. I feel like, but yeah, but I, um, what I what what you understand is I don't do anything anyway. I go to the grocery store. So right, but that's what you're saying. The bank, it's not it's not even even yet, just, I'm talking about before this. I go to Jeff's yeah. house. Jeff's house for the podcast. Grocery store, bank, work, home. That's all the places I went. So I wasn't right. worried about it. I'm on how dirty all those places you just it's named are. And that's the thing. It's literally just simple things. Like, people think, like, okay, I just want to go hang out with you guys. You guys haven't been anywhere, right? I'm not. But you have been to the grocery store, which means you've exposed yourself to potential, like, you've got, you potentially ran into people that had it or were with people that had it. So it's like new exposure. So you can't be with anybody right now, except for who you live with. Which is 28 don't. days. I'll see you guys in 28 days. I right. wish it was mandatory 28 days for everyone. Like, Dude, it's, it's not going to stop. Dude, I saw that movie. I know. 28 days later, scares. But. We're not going to gonna be out of this. My prediction is uh, mid-July. Oh, for sure. Have you seen other things? Like, I was just telling Jeff earlier about that Chicago nurse that quit, I don't know, yesterday, whatever, within the last couple days, because she showed up to work, they didn't have enough masks, and they said, like, hey, you have to go take care of these patients that are sick with COVID, you can't wear a mask, we don't have any. She's like, I quit, I can't go in there and not, like, are you fucking crazy? Why are you trying to expose yourself to the issue? Right. It's just... Well, because, no, it's not, it's not even that. It's, we literally don't have enough masks and gloves. Like, it's a serious fucking thing. Like, we're, like, if, like we have, if we have patients on isolation, 
instead of disposing, like if we, like, if our dogs get to contaminate it, normally you throw them away and you put on new ones. We don't have to wash them. We wash our gloves. Like if we're in that patient's room, we wash them. Because we're so short. We're so short on supplies. Like, and that's just like, I'm in long term. That's not even hospitals. Like hospitals yeah. have, are running out of everything. You know, that which puts healthcare workers at risk. And then what happens when they're sick and they can't go to work? Well, this is like all of this, the conspiracies too. And like, you know, the, the, all like, you know, they're making our companies, GM and Ford, stop production to make, you know, ventilators. And, you know, Dyson's doing it. And there's these other companies. And then you hear about other facilities that are like, we have thousands of them in our warehouse right now, and we're not making any more until those are sold. Well, why the fuck aren't those being sold? But what are they? Well, every, but, but how much are they jacked the price up on them, though, too? Right, that's the thing. And then it's like, well, this state's going to pay, you know, a dollar. Well, this state's going to pay five dollars. This state's going to pay ten dollars. I see, you know, they're, they're paying fine for what it should be. Now, from what I hear, is the only supplier of all these supplies we need is in China. Because we did that little pair of things from a big amount of million dollars. Now they want billions for these medical supplies. I just wish to circle too, with, the, with how bad things are, that there's the whole issue of money and inflation and all that other shit. Like, I don't know, like, the politics of it. I don't, honestly, I don't follow that at all. But I do, I do know, like, just from, like, healthcare perspective, like, we, there's not enough ventilator, ventilators, and, like, there's not enough healthcare workers, and, like, right. just, just even just, the masks. Two days in a fucking row, we got a, an alert on our phone, like, an amber alert is what it sounded like. Oh, I got it, too. It was down in Illinois, yeah, for healthcare workers to volunteer because there's not enough. They need people. But, like, uh, like we can't, like, I can't go down there and volunteer because then I can't go to work. Yeah. They won't let me at work with them. Yeah, it's... So that's, what I mean. that's what's crazy, too, is how do you not go to work either and just not everyone's able to take the next six months off because of the pandemic? We're still well, I rolling. Really, I don't know if I'm I don't think we really feel it as much as, you know, some people do. Sean's still working. The lady's still working. I'm working on and off. Frankie, I mean, you, you're pretty well off, you know, as of right now. Listen, I wish I was more rich and single so I could just give money to help people, but... Well, yeah. just, I just think about the people, like, maybe, you know, some people, like, just straight up moved to, like, California and trying to make it big, you know? You're a waiter or something. Like, you got... Like, there's a lot of people out there, you know, we know a lot of people who are, like, hairdressers and, like, bartenders on the side, and they're just completely out of work, and it's, yep. like, hey, what are you doing? How are you surviving? Right, and maybe they had a great Christmas with their family and, and got a bunch of gifts, and now they're trying to recover from it, and, and they're not in a place where they, you know, could take off tiny days or, or whatever. It's scary, man. And, like, I know... I have one friend. I have one friend who like her. Uh, yeah, Bell. Her her thing her thing was like, well, we're all gonna catch this eventually, so what's the big deal? But like you, I I, I understand that, and we all might eventually catch it. We all had it, but if you slow it down, that leaves enough ventilators, that leaves enough healthcare workers. It slows it down enough that we can like control it. And take care of it as it's happening. Right now, it's just coming in at such an influx that you can't fucking take care of it. And now, yeah, like, two of my best friends, like, aren't working now because they all have, like, their own businesses. And it fucking sucks because now you got assholes that aren't staying at home, that are hanging out with other people. It's just stretching this out longer and longer. Right. I mean, it sucks. I want to see you guys. I want to see my family. But the sooner we all just... Stay the fuck at home and do what we have to do. The sooner we will all see each other. I know you. I'm, you know, people want to go fucking fishing and people want to fucking do all this shit. Yeah. People want to dress up like Joe Exotic and Carol Goddamn fucking. <laughs> I 
I mean, just stay the fuck home and get kinky. You know what I'm saying? Well, and it's not even just that. It's stay home and just stay at home. Don't invite people over. Don't fucking have a party in your garage. Say, fuck you. Do anything, though. Like, everyone's, like, I've always been like, I want to just sit at home and watch stupid shit and documentaries on Netflix like the Tiger King. And now I can. This is shit that, like, we always never wanted to go to work and, like, I wish I could just stay home and, and watch shit on Netflix. If we were in high school right now, like, and the thing that I said to the boys, you know, like, the boys are 10 years old and they're out of school right now, but they got a fucking maid. Like, if this happened when I was in school, or older people were in school, this would be totally different. Like, we didn't have fucking internet, we didn't have fucking streaming, we didn't have, uh, Skype, we didn't have, uh, we didn't have the headphones on while we are playing Xbox, it was like, I mean... We'd be talking on the phone right now. <laughs> we have the phone on my shoulder like, playing fucking... A cord, and I can only go so far. And if you were on the internet, you couldn't even talk on the phone, so... Right. <laughs> yeah. Because I'd be sitting there waiting for a picture to download like this. Right. <laughs> 17%. Just to see Just one like, nipple. Come on! One nipple. Come on, I got a nipple. This old Spice Channel. Oh God! On, on the old uh, uh, black boxes, you know what I mean? You get, get to that channel and it just comes in all fuzzy. Fuck yeah! So it's a titty. It's an elbow. Titty. I don't know. It's an elbow. Jesus. Oh fuck! Oh, it's just God. really, you guys said though too. It's 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 not if we're gonna get it. It is when, with how it sounds, and until they have like a cure to disease, you know, for this and that. But if we get it in the next 90 days, the, the lack of supplies for the mass amount of people is not even close to, to being what's needed. So that's why we have to do our part, too, and make sure that we can get past this, like you said, this flux of just everyone coming in at the same time. And yeah, it's, it's, it's super sad when you see pictures of hospitals that got people laying on the floor. Like, it, well, it's it's not even that. Like Brooklyn has fucking cold trucks, and they're taking bodies out to the cold just, truck, and that's where they're sitting, like on forklifts. They, you know, they bring them out on the forklift, they put them in the cold truck, and I, I don't understand what it's going to take for people to understand that like, it's a big deal. Like the boys at this point aren't even going to their dad's house because Trey has asthma, and I'm so worried about him fucking getting it. Right, it's it's not a joke. Like what what is it going to take for people to fucking realize like it's a big deal? Well, I think it's because it's it, it's been now months that it's been going on, and people still are acting like, oh man, this is bullshit. I can't go to the bar. Honestly, uh, though, this quarantine, this is going into week three, and people can't fucking handle their shit yet. I know, right? What the yeah. fuck is it, is it gonna take someone fucking you know dying for you to figure out that? Exactly. But he's that's what I said it's gonna take for someone that you actually you know to be affected by this for you to take it seriously. A friend you know, of mine. You know, there's someone out there that's still fucking partying, still raging, and once like someone that they know is on a ventilator because of it, then they're gonna be like, "Holy fuck!" Like I should have been more careful. Well, not that's even that being on a ventilator. It's gonna be the fact of like, okay, we no. We have your 65 year old mother that needs a ventilator, and then we have a a 32 year old that needs a ventilator. Like your mom isn't getting it. No, they're gonna give it to the 32 year old. Yeah. Yep. That is what's crazy as a country to be like, wait, what? We're we're, we're turning down our our own people here for medical care because. We're ill prepared and we're not taking the correct actions to get this, you know, addressed immediately. Like I get it, dude. I am so thankful for people that have money that are putting up like a hundred grand, two hundred grand here. But like to me at the same time I still feel like, man, you paid a hundred million over the last four years on just your contract. Like you make so much more on endorsements. Like you don't think you can be like, I'm gonna put out a million and start something and if you can get all these other wealthy people so like that that whole movie that you guys I was telling you guys the platform to check out it's a new thing on Netflix it starts with it's a prison and there's different floors 
it depends on what floor you live on, a table comes down through the middle, and it starts at the top where everyone eats whatever they want. And it eats way too much and indulges because they're rich and privileged. And it goes down through these floors. And as it gets down there, it shows how fucking crazy people get survive because they're eating the stress. Snowpiercer? Sounds like Snowpiercer. Yeah. Is that what happened? Okay, let me fart. What? Oh, fuck. Watch yeah. Netflix. No, it's it's just. I got the preview for a uh, platform later tonight. It's it's okay. definitely interesting. You know, the the problem is too is the the ego on people now. Oh, and I ain't gonna get it, so I ain't gonna listen. That's the first one that's gonna be. That's the one that's gonna be asymptomatic and passing on to everybody like fucking AIDS. <laughs> I mean, it just, I mean, you should have took the, the basketball player, Rudy Gobert, who, who was joking about it, touching everyone's microphone, grabbing everyone's stuff in the locker room, throwing towels at his buddies, oh, here, here, <coughs> coughing on it, and he thought it was a joke, and then he tested positive, and then his teammates were positive, and he was in contact with thousands and thousands of people because he was here in Chicago for All-Star Week for the dunk contest and three-point contest and the All-Star game. And he thought it was a big joke. And then he tested positive and he came out, I'm so sorry. And he was one of the first people to donate like over 100 grand. It was like 200 grand. And it's like, dude, you made, for the last four years, you have a $104 million contract or something like that. 100 plus million. You could have been like, hey, I'm just a million dollars. Let's try to get this resolved. And, and just everyone else jump on this, like, well, you know, like hey, bro. Yeah. Well, like, I think I think the biggest thing is like for in the beginning, like everybody thought, like, and I was I was one of them. Like, I was like, okay, it sounds like it's like the flu. Right. Like, we got the flu every fucking year. It's fine. Like, whatever. I was like that in the beginning too. And then you learn, like, no, it's an upper respiratory infection. It's not a lower respiratory infection, and it's a big fucking deal like it is killing thousands of people like it's and you know it's not just the elderly it's, it's everybody younger people are dying from it too like it's just it's a big fucking deal it's going crazy and the fact that it's not just how it's affecting everybody it's how fast there's nothing that's ever spread like this it's it's so easily spread that, that it's, it's it's happening in a, in a, in a, a pace that's it's uncontrollable. Of course, we're trying to control it and say we have it under control. No, because this isn't even quarantine. I don't care what you say. Like everybody, like we're all saying we're being quarantined. We're not. Still leaving the house. We still go to the fucking store. We all still get to. Nobody's stopping us from going to a fucking parking lot and hanging out, which I've seen plenty of people do. Oh yeah, there's um there's big problems down in the cities where they're having closed door parties where you have to walk to these parties, no driving. Um, it's passwords, and, and when you come in, they lock the doors. And like, why? Like why? Why? I'm Just partying why? right now with the people I want to be partying with. So, hey, people are acting like oh, it's like a prohibition. You know, they're 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 taking away our rights to drink. No, they're not. They're taking away, not taking away anything, technically, yet. But I do think it might get to that point. People keep bringing up martial law. And well, the reason, point. the reason it's going to get to martial law is because people are fucking idiots. That's Listen, why. right. That's, yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Some people that need their hand fucking held, they need to be forced to stay inside. Yeah. I want to party, too. I'm a, God damn, look at me. I'm going to tell you now. I don't want to party. I want to get out there. I want to fucking rage. So uh, I, <laughs> this is yes, going to probably be... So this is what I do. This is how I entertain myself. The lady. The, my beauty. She's never looked hotter. Ever. Th this is going to be my last week of work, <laughs> honestly, I think. I think they're going to shut us down. Which is fine. Ooh, it yeah, I think, I, think we got one, I think we got one week left. I think Dude, you've been talking about this for two months. Dude, start. 
when we fuck you. Why are you trying to just fucking say you're not coming in? Well, that's oh, what I'm saying is I'm going to work Can't next you week. Be like, dude, my mom is, you know, your mom's susceptible to it. Yeah. She's a, just like Frank, Frank's dad said cancer. Your mom has said cancer. She's battled it like a fucking goddamn trooper twice. Yep. Can't you just be like, dude, like, I ain't risking it, bro. Yeah, like I said, we, I got one more. Get that. I know that's it, what sucks. If we're not if we're not shut down by this Thursday, I'm done. I'm telling them I'm not coming in. Yeah, I mean it's coming to the point where we're putting up where we're gonna do product and there's gonna be nowhere for it to go because no trucking company is gonna come pick it up. So that's why I salute everyone who still has to actually do this fucking shit to people deliver into like the mall. And that's what's fucking crazy, dude. Like everyone's bitching about, oh, we can't fucking up minimum wage. Look who's working right now, who's essential. Okay. Gas station employees, Walmart employees, like these are people that get paid dick to fucking work. Right. Go to a fucking gas station. They're fucking miserable all the fucking time. They're getting paid <laughs> shit. You know what? Essential. Do you want to know though? Like those are the people that are getting paid like hazard pay and like <laughs> bonuses. They do better. Who? Okay, yeah, they better. You're right. They better. However, do you know that that like people at the actual front line, like Kaylin, like I said, like one of my great friends from school, she is swabbing people's noses out in the fucking rain and cold for ten hours straight. Came in contact with people that are tested positive for this. She doesn't get hazard pay. She doesn't get anything. And that's so many places. They aren't getting this. We're not getting it. It's because the government's like Carol. Aren't getting bonuses. I ain't washing up the volunteer. I ain't getting that shit. I ain't getting that shit. These are people that are coming in fucking actual straight contact with people that have this virus. And they're not getting bonuses, hazard pay, nothing. They're getting nothing. Nothing, and there's yeah, fucking that's fucking mind. Yeah, I'll, I'll be straight up and honest. I saw an interview on the yeah, news of a, a woman, a nurse. They are on the front lines, and they're doing what they can do. Like your your friend who's swapping in the parking lots. So what happens when they get it? Like I said, I I I saw something. Just, I saw something on the internet. It says we're called essential because you because calling us sacrificial would be too honest. <laughs> Oh my god, no. Somebody at work was showing because me that. And I started dying laughing. I'm sorry, I didn't even hear it. It's they call you essential because calling you sacrificial would be too honest. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I say. It's so, so true. But it's great. I was just thinking the other day about how all these, these little jobs that pay fucking bullshit are now all of a sudden essential. I think it, it might have been a meme who like brought it to mind. Because it was like, all you essential employees need to fucking ask for a goddamn raise. <laughs> if I'm working at a gas station right now, making $9 an hour, and I'm fucking switching gloves every fucking customer, and I'm fucking going here and going there, I would either fucking quit or ask for a goddamn fucking raise right now. Be like, dude, I'm getting, you can pay me 9 bucks an hour, but I'm I, fucking out of here. I want to know how they're going to like, like uh, the local donut shop. That's all I'll say. Is fucking open. Why? Why are they open? They are not fucking essential. They don't sell groceries. Yeah, really we don't need like nothing about them is fucking essential. But yet yeah, they're open, and I see people walking in and out. Every you know day how now. serious this is? The Why? bars in Wisconsin are closed. That's how serious. <laughs> how serious how next to the bar is open. Wisconsin bar. bars are closed. And like I said, the fucking quarantine's turned me into an alcoholic. I've been drinking fucking... I start drinking as as soon as I get off Thursday. I am... My shirt, my buttons are crying. My buttons are crying. That wife beater you were wearing... I'm sorry, Dago T. No, wait, I'm sorry. Muscle shirt? The Dago T. Tank top. Tank top. The super tight thing that was screaming... (laughs) <laughs> <Her relief. laughs> Looks like a girdle on you. Just trying to hold everything back and it couldn't do it. Tell you, mother, motherfuckers. 
I feel like you need to be out there doing uh, essential businesses. You look like an essential guy right now. I'm essential. Fuck, tires are essential. Like I said, I'm just... I, I laughed when they said essential. I still laugh. Hence the reason why I made the trip. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You're doing God's work right now, Sean. Yeah. Cutting polycarbonate to ship. <laughs> Fuck yeah. NASCAR's not even happening right now. <laughs> I'm, I'd... Wait, hold on. They got motherfuckers on wrestling. Grabbing on each other, coughing and sweating, but NASCAR can't go on? Bro, right? Motherfuckers on their own car. Night one of WrestleMania was tonight, bro. How do you not have NASCAR? No one watches that shit anyway. Just drive your fucking shit box. Well, I'm just saying, I might pick up watching her. I would do NASCAR right now. It's not this, is fight. When, this is when my Skittles game comes into effect. There's no sports right now. You get yourself some <laughs> Skittles at your local gas station, put about 10 of those bitches in the toilet, and you flush it. Like a 10 second NASCAR right there you go. And then you can start taking bets on that because there's nothing to bet on right now. So Did you see? No. Esports, bro. They're going to have pro football players play Madden. They're going to have against each other. They, they, they have, have the NBA going on right, right now. And then they have... Aaron James just won a tournament. You guys have NBA, right? Yeah. Why don't you just simulate the season? <laughs> Because the, <laughs> the Bulls would still yeah, have too many okay. wins. Go look at NBA, find the schedule, see who's playing on, uh, see who's playing on ESPN, who is supposed to play games. on ESPN tonight, and then just simulate the game. It's like you watched it. Like, oh, bro, the Warriors. Watch it. I yeah. can watch it. Right. So, okay. how about this idea? We do, uh, I have the UFC game. We'll gamble on that. We'll just we'll simulate the fights. It will gamble so on set that. Up fucking, uh, Tony Ferguson, because it's probably not going to happen, yeah, right? Ferguson. Tony Ferguson and Khabib. And, uh, and Khabib. Yeah, Khabib. Let's do it. We'll have a watch party. We'll set it up. I'll, I'll, I'll see the full <laughs> fight card. You set up your fucking screen. And set it up. Uh, I'm dying. That's what I'm saying. That shit's fucking funny to watch. It's, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely got to, you know, we could, that's what I mean. We could entertain ourselves, and I don't understand why people can't. Like why people are like freaking out so bad that they're not like FOMO FOMO fear of missing out I fear like of out. Um, what there's nothing going on because people no, can't be can't, cause can't, people, you're missing out and you're not staying home watching Tiger King people cannot now be is the alone best time. now is the greatest time in history to be quarantined it's the greatest time in history to be quarantined Yes, if I we know. got quarantine so much, we're we're high school, this shit would fucking suck. We'd be on a line line, we're waiting for our sister to get off the phone with her fucking boyfriend. Come on, on. you know, hang up. Fuck, I want to call my friend. Then your mom's like, get off the fucking internet, I need the phone. Like, God damn it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm cleaning my room. I, if we're if anyone was gonna get quarantined at any time, this is the best time yeah, but it's ever happened. But Look at what we're doing right now. But people are so fucking selfish. They that is the problem. They don't remember. That is the problem. They don't remember the darkness. I went I went into uh <laughs> the grocery store today. I don't even know what it's called anymore. But the grocery store. Uh, wow. Yeah. I got yeah. I got a story too, so yes, go well, ahead. Well, you know, they got like they got it all set up six feet away. They got the fucking guard in front of the cashiers, whatever. But then you like you see the people that are trying to avoid running into other people, which awesome. Mm-hmm. Normally not that person, but awesome. And then you see the and you know them when you see them. Oh God! It looks like this guy yeah. right here. There's always like at least three of them. Excuse me. They're like, oh yeah, no, let's go grab this over there, and they're touching fucking everything, and they're like this close to everyone. But I like saw them today at the grocery store as I'm trying to grab shit that we actually need, and I'm like, god damn it, like you guys are the people, you are the people, you are the ones that are fucking this all up for everybody because you just don't care. Hey, you don't care. I'm gonna tell you now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, when I brought the computer home, I Lysoled that bitch down. 
Yeah, because these kids are dirty. Good, because I also liked all that when it came here. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think you know, guys are dirty. dirty. No, it's not that at all. It's it's being it's overly know. cautious, dude. It's literally someone could cough in their hand though and open a door or put their hand on the counter and you put your elbow on it and then just for no fucking reason touch your elbow and touch your face and that's it's, it's, it, that's how fast it's happening. What did I do today? Plus we we know I know for a fact Sean's a dry masturbator. What did I do today when I brought the groceries? Fucking serial killer. No, oh, going to die. You said, you said clear off the island, honey. I'll be home in two minutes, and I'm putting everything on there, and I'm spraying it. I came home with groceries. I made him help me carry them in from on the island, made him wash his hands. I washed my hands, and I wiped all the shit out of everything that I brought home, and I let it sit. Oh, no, I hear you, and that's... Keeping it fire fire fire. Fire. We're keeping it loose. Like, right. we're like... Capri Suns, we call them Capra Suns. And they can't have one unless they put their hands together and bow. Jeff, can I have a Capra Sun? <laughs> said, yes. Yes, go in the fridge and grab a Capra Sun. How oh, early did you start making 50-50-50s today? I'm Yo, he had a 75-25 in there, No, I'm talking about the children. Oh, my God. So, so we have, like, three drinks sitting here, right? And, like, I think they're mostly juice. But Bella picks one up, takes a sip, and goes... Cause she was like, what is that? And I was like, I don't know, it's not mine. She takes a sip, she goes, okay, it's not wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wine. It's that, not wine. That girl says to damn this thing. Oh, shit. Like she said wine. It's not wine. It's not wine. It's not wine. Good. Thank God. Thank God it's not wine, because <laughs> not five o'clock yet, and... <laughs> Oh, I was dying. Twenty-five. Bye. All right, guys, we're coming up on an hour here. Did you guys, did real quick, since I got a cat right here, did you guys see what uh, Peter posted? No. So we all have animals. We all have animals, right? Yeah. Peter. Does not want you calling your animals pets because it's offensive. It didn't hear that. <laughs> you're, supposed, you're supposed to call them companions. Companions! I yeah. did hear that. Yeah, well, like, you guys keep talking about that. I'm I got to get pissed. I'm dying from a respiratory disease, and you want me to call my nope. goddamn pet a fucking companion? Where is he going? Stop You're a companion. He can't hear us. Stewie. Look at this. Every time you say Stewie. Look at how sweaty he is. Stewie. God damn. Fucking son of a bitch. Stewie. What about Sean's companion? Oh, look at him. He is so Oh, good. God. Stewie. Sean. He's so cute. Oh, no, him. baby. You're screaming. I just I'm on Bulldog, Chuck. Simon Munch. No. Kayla's screaming. Been so long. God, look how cute he is. Do you remember your last orgasm? No. Neither do I. <laughs> Jeez, oh, my oh, I heard it. Shit. I heard it when I was walking up. I heard it. <laughs> Are you sitting on your companion, Sean? No, no he's no. behind me. He's oh, yeah, I was trying to talk to him, Sean. He couldn't hear me. No, I, Bring him out. Bring him out. He's behind me sleeping again. He's Bring like him sleep. out. He needs to talk to his aunt Kayla. Right. Kayla's going through witch jaws. Seeing animals is Kayla's essential business. Oh my god. Oh. But he can't hear us. So it's not a thing. He can't like tilt his head. <gasps> oh, I'm so oh, it's still there. Look it. No, no he's not here. <laughs> he's like, Red's all Ringer Luke. Ridley's like, what about me? I all the Ridley Bobbins. All day, boo, I talk to you. Yeah, that little bird. bird Bottom line shit is, Sean, your companion is great. Your pet's awesome. My four-legged pet child. Your, pet your companion. Oh, baby. 
I missed you guys. I this miss is you. what it's come down to. Kayla and I dressing as that bitch Carol Baskins. I always knew we fucking I always knew you guys were into cosplay and wanted to have some angry hate sex. Perfect. Oh, Just dude. wait, this bitch sent me to fucking jail. The dick wells. Just get a shagging. I really didn't do shit. That's. This for the guy that's riding the fucking wave warmer. What? Fat Chucky? Fat Chucky. Fat Chucky? Fat Chucky really was not Fat Chuck Lowe. Man, there's some real pieces of shit out there. Dude, that dude. You think you guys want to go to their new zoo this year? If there is a fucking douche, if there is a picture of uh, so there's douchebag in the dictionary, dictionary. There is a picture. There is a picture. Goddamn, Jeff Lowe right next to it. You some bitch. Oh, bitch. That's accurate. That dude is a fucking. But his baddie's hot as fuck. And he is smoking. And we promise as a podcast this will be the This would be the this will be the last podcast we're talking about Tiger King on because Frankie finally watched it. Oh, yeah. Because it's, got it in. it's getting played out. Carol Baskins the that bitch Carol Baskins kill her husband. I did that yes. on my husband. Oh for sure. Two hundred percent my thoughts. She should be in jail. She killed her husband. Uh, and she's a fucking cult leader, psychopath, hypocrite, because she wants to shut everyone down so she can do it herself. I want to know what's going on with Shaquille O'Neal's cats. Right, because he bought, he bought a set. He bought two toys from there. Right? So... Where are they? Are they with Carol now? Because Shaq can't, can't take care of them? What are they on? His tennis court? <sighs> They're in a sanctuary. In San Francisco. Bullshit. Well, volunteers you don't get paid to work. What uh, Joe Exotic did and what you do. Well, you know, Joe Exotic did what I did. Joe Exotic did what I did. I don't want to put them in small cages. I'm having troubles not slapping you right now. <laughs> the fuck are you even talking about? Can't get through the camera. <laughs> you don't know, have to lie, though. No. I feel the same way. These cats won't be strong. That was our argument the entire time we watched it. I was like, what the fuck is the difference between them? Like, there isn't. There isn't. Oh. Carol Baskins doesn't do she doesn't, cub pet. She doesn't breed them. She, she doesn't, doesn't breed them and she doesn't do cub petting. Otherwise, she did. She did up until a yeah. point. Yeah. Where yeah. Then, yeah. Where yeah. I, no, no, no. Allegedly. Yeah. Her husband disappeared. Or do you want to tell us something? Up until yeah. her husband disappeared. I love how one day after the five years, she... Got him certified as dead. And then they're like, did you do a funeral or anything? <laughs> the will. will. Death or oh, will. Yeah. Disappearance. Disappear? Who puts that in a fucking will? That I'm never going to put it in, in, in the... the oh, my my disappearance. Disappearance. Oh. oh. On my death. Right. Anything may happen. Yada, yada, yada. That was probably the longest five years of her life. For sure. All right, wait to get those millions? Yes. Oh man. Fucking psycho bitch. Okay. Yeah. Jeff Lowe? I ever saw that dude? I might take a screen. You would make out with him. Deep, deep tone. Oh yeah. Until yeah. you have you 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 a free Ed Hardy hat and then you guys would party until the night. Then you got bought you a pair of, bought you a pair of bedazzled jeans. But I feel like for sure, <laughs> Death Blow and Bad Chucky and that other prison dude beat what off with the drop. I, I want to know the whole setup to that scene where he's like, hey, I'm going to get in the bathtub in my shorts and my bandana. Keep filming. <laughs> what the <laughs> Why? <laughs> he's in there as water good? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, man. Hold <laughs> on. Oh no, keep filming. I want to I want to take a bath. I just got an urge to take a bath. I'll keep my shorts oh, and my bandana. So 
Does she know me? The fuck? I was so confused by that. I was like, he's he's taking a bath. <laughs> He's taking the so bad right? They even called her like, hey man, don't say nothing. Listen, I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but what Joe make you do? It's like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like there was other conversations too. When you hear that more in like its entirety. Yeah. The fucking, the, the case they built against you oh, for no reason. Oh, and I know you know that this guy Jeff he had 13 tigers of his own two tigers he had nowhere to keep them right so he's like fuck it I, I, I'll bring 13 tigers to this guy keep them there for free he's already got a place for them and he got him to convince him into putting it in his fucking name. Like, oh, he got, yeah, he fucking, that dude's a hustler through. Oh, yeah, he suckered the shit out of him for sure. Because, you know what, I bet Fat Chucky and him hooked him up with some real good weed and mess for his little sex toys. Why do I keep looking at you in the corner? What are you shaking and touching over? What are you trying to doing? I was you know, snapshotting, I took a snapshot of this scene so I can put it on our Instagram. You sick, sick bastards. Hey, I have a phone. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I couch ate it. Uh, it was, dude, it was fucking wild, dude. And every episode ended with something. They just teased something wilder. Yeah. So you you just couldn't stop. You're like, what? Oh, for sure. And so fucking my late husband, Trevor, shot himself. My God. <laughs> I'm dying. Homeboy, homeboy's talking about his balls Sega. at the fucking funeral. But Joe Exotic Sega's funeral, all I could think about was fucking, uh, what the fuck's his name? Oh my god. Kenny Powers? <laughs> Kenny Powers! <laughs> he had the boombox. Yeah. <laughs> Playing Candlebox far behind. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, when that dude, he was walked into the store for Fat Chucky, and he's like, hey, what's up, man? What's new? What's that? So I heard you guys were going to hire someone to murder? Now, let me tell you the whole story real quick. The dead just, that's just how it went down. What's the, what, what was his story? He had a lever next to the checkout, and then it was like random shelves of some weird He's like, I had to tell the whole thing, cause like, I had the lemur. He had the lemur. And they had me fucking hammered. He had the lemur. lemur. It was like a fucking weird wobbler. What? No, what? That's, that's called, Don't it's called, what are you close to a wobbler? That was a, a that was, for all the drugs he was selling. Yeah, it was a resale shop. It was basically so a pawn he, shop. He got out of his trouble by making up a story or in inducing these stories and bringing well, them to totally, light. Of, they, they totally fucking set him up. Because oh, Joe Exotic was talking about killing this that fucking bitch Carol Baskins right. the whole fucking time. And then there, he would have never did it unless they're like, "Hey, we can do this. We got a guy. We do right. it." He said, like, do Jeff it. Lowe showed up there and probably brought a shit ton of drugs. And like they said, he was like, "Hey, I got thirteen tigers. I need to keep them somewhere. Let me keep them here." Oh, and then when he got on whatever the, you know Joe's side and told that bitch off with the lawyers, and he was like, "Fuck that. Here's your thirty-five grand for the lawyers." He was all like, "Oh, well, let's." Let's put this in your name. I can trust you. Let me put my million dollar business in your name so they can't take it. Carol fucking Baskins was coming for all her, all his shit. So it, it blew it up. Somebody else's name that she couldn't take it. Exactly. That's how that Hence the reason why it was in his, a lot of the shit was in his mother's name too. It was the perfect fucking storm. Perfect storm. Every way. But I still feel like I, I, I wonder. And they're 
They're just all horrible people. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but I want to know what happened to fucking Dr. Fucking Doc, Antler. Doc Anchor? Doc Anchor was my favorite, by far. Why, because he's got his women trained? You're no, envious of it? Just, you can just tell, he was like just trying to stay out of it. This, this bitch is crazy. That dude's fucking he don't nuts. He wants to stay out of it because I mean, he's fucked up himself and he's in Oh, he's like, the, he's like oh, the king oh, of it. Yeah, he's so fucked up and shit. Like he would go to jail forever. He'd go to prison forever. He just got yeah, raided. Probably is. He just got, he got raided. He got raided at the end in December. They said he so. got raided again, like a month and a half ago. He's foul. Wow. Bitches are foul. I want to know more on that story now. What happened with him? I want to know more about that bitch Carol and when is she going to jail? The I want to know when the Tiger King is going to be released. Twenty-two years. And he's got the what? He might as well let him out. He's got the corona right now. He's got the no. corona. Yeah. Seriously? He yeah. does. Joe Joe oh, Exotic shit. has the corona. Along with herpes oh, and a shit. bunch of other shit. Oh, fuck out my house. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> out of my house. Hey, well, like, like, so I, I I mean I get it. When when he was attacked by his tigers, those five that were in the cage. Hey, hey, hey say, Sardine, that was fucking someone put perfume on my shoes. Right. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I watched it, I thought he shot that tiger in the head. So did I. When he and fired I looked back. Yeah, when he fired the shot I I would have. The thing had him by the leg, it was dragging him. They were all coming like he was My he was favorite part was here. no one he tried to help bitch. him. No right, one but like, tried to help him. If you've seen him <laughs> not <do> this, <laughs> that dude just held that camera. No one tried to help like, him. Oh, bro, I'm about to see a murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm about to watch this dude get eaten shit. Yeah, no. It's crazy. I mean, like, they don't, they didn't. Like, just, ah, 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 you know, nothing. No. Like, I think the craziest like, part got it. was that, that dude that was, like, his campaign manager, when yeah. he witnessed Travis kill himself, yeah. that was the craziest part. Right. By far. They, like, showed the video, and he's like... Well, and he thought he was kidding at first, because he said he was always such a little shithead, and he was, like, joked about stuff. Fuck. Yeah, he's like, I knew instantly he was dead. He's like, but still, you could see him. He's like, Travis, like, are you fighting with me? Like, like yeah, he was, still thought it was a joke. He's like, I knew he was dead, but I still thought it was a joke. You know, a tiger like, don't shoot if it don't got the clip in it. Bang! <laughs> now, Done. that kid that witnessed his campaign manager, when he was the manager of Walmart and he first started doing those interviews, he looked like a fucking normal just... Oh, dude, he aged 30 years in fucking oh. five. Bro. I was like, why does he keep going back? And then, like, as it, like, progressively got back, he had the meth mouth and shit and fucking just looked like he's 60. I'm like, oh, damn, he got locked up with the shit, you know, looked up on the shit with them. Like, yeah, I didn't think he looked that different. Oh, dude, his teeth were, he was missing teeth. His teeth were all yeah. fucked up. Well, I know that uh, his his first husband had like a bunch of teeth missing and shit. Yeah. But what's fucked up is he's got his. Have you seen him? He got his teeth fixed. He's got fucking full teeth. He has a beautiful fucking smile. Yeah, he's got beautiful yeah. dentures. You mean? Oh. Um, yeah, but I mean, he's but like, yeah, it cost me a lot of money. Like, he's and, not uh, that bad looking of a dude when he's got. No, teeth. he's really not. And then he's like, yeah, he's like, oh, you have your shirt off? Like, whose idea was that? And he's like, the producers are like, it's it's sex appeal. He's like, they basically just made me look like a dumb fucking hillbilly. He's like, I'm not. He's like, I wear a shirt. I have fucking teeth now. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> you know I, like, like you said, though. He, a documentary was, like that, they fucking, they, they set it up how, how they want. You know, they very... Is this way? I mean, you can skew your agenda any fucking way you want it. Yeah, it's called religion. They do the same thing. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have some Kool Aid for everyone to drink at a party if you guys want to come. I already did. So did I. Uh, with Jeff's drink being 
empty. Yeah. It's time to bring this episode to but a close. I don't wanna. We can keep talking offline, but we're already 15 minutes over. All right, we're gonna go on. We're gonna go on. Uh, TGD, TGD, uh, fucking gamer. TGD gaming is join our, it. Is our join on Xbox is join our gaming. So, let me tell you, hold my tiger, bitch. Let me tell you, motherfucker. Tell me something. Sit back. Calm no. down. Shit. Put <laughs> all for you. Fuck. <laughs> His neck just doesn't move. <laughs> oh, we love our animals here. And for Jeff, for Kayla, for Frankie, I am Sean. Thanks for listening. And come on back next week for another fun filled edition of. Hey, gentlemen's done. Till then, see you next hey, week. Hold on, hold on a second. Can I get a quick shout out? Uh, Joe Exotic here. I've been uh, talking to uh, a future, uh, uh, actually a past uh, sponsor of this podcast, Butch Dixon. And we are getting ready for the uh, spiciest, sweetest alcohol known to man. Uh, you want to talk about the name or should I? You should. Exotic Dicks and Cider <laughs> is uh, coming soon to a store near you. <laughs> so this podcast was brought to you by yeah. Hard Dicks and Cider's new flavor, Exotic Dicks and Cider. Uh, it comes in. I can't wait to taste it. It comes in four great flavors. I can't wait to taste you, Frankie. <laughs> including Prince Albert Apple. <laughs> Lion Lemon <laughs> Carol Baskets Punch <laughs> and, oh, and, and Meth Mouth Madness <laughs> <laughs> That is Exotic Dicks Insider Get oh, that up in you and don't forget to go to uh, shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen Ben for all your gentlemen's then merch. We'll see you next week. Thanks again, folks. <laughs>